Question 23. So the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm just going to rewrite this part. And I'm going to take out 2. Because I always find this much easier to then complete the square. Because all this is is just completing the square. So I've got no idea what I've got. I've just got a green bit randomly appeared there. Right, and I'm just going to put plus 35 over there. Right, Just park it over the side somewhere. So this is exactly the same as what's above. Now what we're going to do is we're going to think, well, OK, let's rewrite this part. And that's the same as, now this is the completing the square part. I've got x plus 4 squared. Now I need to take away, when I multiply that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 8x and 16. So if I take away 16, this is the same as what's above. And remember, I need to multiply everything by 2. So we've got to have that in there. And we still got a plus 35 at the end. So now let's tidy the thing up. So what have we got? We've got 2. And I'm just going to multiply the first part. And then you're going to have take away 32. And you've still got plus 35. So the whole lot will just be... That's going to be plus 3, isn't it? So the whole lot should just be 2x plus 4 squared and plus 3. Now, on part B, it says write down the coordinates of the turning point. Now, the turning point is when this bit in here is going to be 0. And on this one, that's actually going to give us where our, if you think about drawing this, right? It's going to be a, it's a nice, happy graph. So when this bit in here is going to be zero, it's going to identify the lowest point on the graph. In other words, the minimum point on the graph. So when is that equal to zero? Well, it would be equal to zero when x is equal to minus four. What would the answer be? Well, the answer would be y equals three. So the coordinates of the turning point are minus 4, 3. Hurrah, all done.